Okay, tree number five is not really a tree, but you're gonna love it. Don't forget to head here. All the goods. Register for scraps, scraps, scrapbook retreats and workshops. Some have Zoom options. You can shop my goodies and you'll find the link to my Creative Memories website where you can find all the stuff that we're going to use today. Um, you're going to want your Mountain Punch and you're going to want some green paper, two different shades of green paper, and you're going to love this. Okay, you're going to have two layers. So your base layer, you might want it to be a little darker than your top layer. I'm going to do the top layer because I already did my base layer. But you're going to center your piece of paper on your, on your 13 by 13 mat. And then you're going to center your jumbo circle on here. And you're going to cut with the red blade. This was Becky's idea. If you follow Becky, you've already seen this. I apologize. But it was so good, I had to show you all. This, there's evidently something under my paper here. Oh, there's a gem. That will not do. Okay. We'll just pretend that cut all the way through. Then what you want to do is put your largest circle in the middle and center it as best you can. And we're gonna use the blue blade on the outside. And I've already done the top layer and the only difference you do with the top layer is you use blue on the outside and red on the inside. I hope that makes sense. The top layer you do it this way, red on the outside, blue on the inside, and the top layer you, you change it up. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Top layer, you want it to be smaller. So you're gonna do red on the inside and blue on the outside. Bottom layer, you want it to be bigger. So you're gonna do, oh, that's wrong. That's, I'm telling you wrong. <laughs> Sorry guys. So your top layer, which is smaller, is gonna be red on your outside, your biggest ring and blue on your smallest ring, on the outside of both of them. Then on your, that's your top layer. Then on your bottom layer, you're gonna do red on your inside circle and blue on your outside circle. I hope that makes sense. And then this piece obviously can be used elsewhere. And yours won't be messed up like mine is. And this piece is also scrap, but this can go on a page, layered on a, be layered on a page, like, just like that. This can work perfectly for another layout. Just use it on another page. Or you can toss it, or you can cut it here and have four triangles like we used to have with the shortcuts is what we call them. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is make sure on your mat that you have all your 30 degree lines extended to the outside so you can see them. And you're gonna center your ring, and you're gonna do this to both top and bottom layer. Center your ring on here, and then mark with something you can see every 30 degree line. So that's every line except for the ones that extend all the way out to the corners. So don't do the corners, but you gotta do all the other lines. And then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your mountain punch and flip it over. And you're gonna center those dots you just made in your punch and punch. And what I do is I squeeze the paper just a little bit so it'll stay there. And then I turn it over to punch so that punch poop falls out and doesn't get jammed up inside there.
And you're going to do that all the way around both rings. This technique works with a lot of our punches, so give it a shot. Try it with others. Now what I do is I go along, you're gonna have this little piece that doesn't look right. I'm just cutting those out, just curving it back to the next mountain. So this isn't a tree. But in real life, these are made out of trees. I think it's going to be a great title page for your Christmas album or your Chris, the start of your Christmas pages. I think it would look great with like a family picture or your Christmas card. You're going to love it. Okay. Gotta love the video issues. Sorry about that. Um, so you also want to make a bow. If you have the bow maker, then you're set. But we can no longer sell the bow maker. They're gone. So what we're going to do is make one with our decorative trimmer. So what you're going to do is center a piece of paper on your trimmer. This piece of paper is 10 inches. You can definitely do this with a 12 inch. Your bow will just be longer. And I'm gonna center it on the trimmer and then come out like a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna cut with this swell, not the wave, the swell. And then you're gonna take this piece and flip it over and you wanna put it in the same spot. So center it on the trimmer and pull it out until it's at the quarter inch mark. That looks pretty good and cut and then you want a one inch strip and that one you're going to want it to be a little smaller and I'll show you why. So the first thing you want to do is fold this in half so you know where the center is. It makes a nice little bow here and then you're going to put tape in the center and fold each side to that center. And if you had a 12 inch piece of paper, you got not only got a bigger bow, but these are almost the same size. Right now we have a little bit difference there. Then what you're gonna do is measure this, so it really doesn't matter what size your paper is. This is four and a half inches. So we want a piece of paper that is six and a half inches. I added two. Six and a half by one. So I'm gonna cut this at one. And then I'm gonna cut it to six and a half. Then what you're gonna do is fold it in half and we're gonna make the tails. So I fold both corners to each other. I don't fold, I just get them there. And then you cut from the corners up. And then you have some fun tails. But the next thing you wanna do is make sure your tails are the same width as your ribbon. So what I do with it still folded is I start here skinny and go up and do that to both sides. Start here skinny and just curve up. Okay, then you have your tails. So then we can start putting this together. And what you do is, here's my bottom layer that I had already cut. So remember it was blue outside of the big ring, red outside of the small ring to make this guy. And then the top layer, you're just gonna layer it, center it on there. 
it was red on the outside of the big ring and blue on the outside of the small ring. Uh, one last thing with the bow, you might wanna put some foam squares or foam tape inside of here. And I don't care if it's sticky on both sides, it's just to give it something. So when you put your page protector on, it still has dimension. Oh, and we need to also make a little wrap for it. So I'm just cutting like a quarter inch piece. I'm gonna put some tape on it. And we'll wrap our bow up. We got our tails. That will go on first. And then our bow, our pretty little bow. And then what I did is I punched some holly. This punch is on the last chance for $15. Or it was at the time of this recording. I hope you guys could see all of that. Me and this camera are fighting. And I apologize. And then I had some gems left over from one of the collections. You know, we always have lots of those. So I just stuck some red gems on there. There's an ornament from that Christmas cheer embellishment pack. And there's the page. Sorry about the recording issues. I hope you liked that. So frustrating. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope you liked that. If you need any help, just contact me. I would be happy to walk you through any of that. And don't forget to head here to do all the fun things. And I'll see you tomorrow.